Star Trek Picard Season 3 will be different. Good news! Shortly before the premiere of the second season of Picard's Star Trek, it was announced that the third season had already been filmed. It is already known that Season 3 will bring back the entire crew from The Next Generation, but many critics assume that the new season will be absolutely different. How exactly? We are going to reveal everything we know in a bit. But be careful, this video is filled with spoilers. Would you prefer your morning beverage on the veranda? The solar shields are holding well this morning. When Star Trek Picard first premiered in 2020 on Paramount+, Plus, it was one of the buzziest shows of the year. Mostly because everyone was extremely happy to see one of the next generation's beloved characters, Jean-Luc Picard. The fact that Patrick Stewart returned to play Jean-Luc Picard once more is almost a miracle in itself. Why? Because when he was first asked to come back in 2018, the actor intended to refuse. However, Stewart was intrigued by the proposal and story ideas because it was so different from other Star Trek stories. It is safe to say that the new generation of Star Trek is kinda different as when the first season premiered, it set a new record for an original series of the streaming service. The second season was also met with a huge success, and the third season is weeks away from completion. The third season is expected to premiere in early 2023 on Paramount Plus in the United States. Season 2 clearly showed that Stewart is the one who leads the entire cast once again, which includes Alison Pill, Isa Bryons, Michelle Hurd, Santiago Cabrera, and Jerry Ryan. But there's something more, as we saw the return of Whoopi Goldberg and John Delancey. Speaking of Season 2, just like many other shows, its premiere was postponed due to a coronavirus pandemic, but on March 2, 2022, fans were pleased to finally watch their favorite TV show. None of our tomorrows are guaranteed. You're gonna have to let go. Even though it would take even more time to wait, many fans said that they'd be absolutely fine with that because the series also earned a Season 3 renewal, solidifying the fact that there will be plenty more adventures with Jean-Luc Picard ahead. Recently, Patrick Stewart confirmed that there's going to be Season 3 and this season is going to be the final one. He also revealed that the third season has already been filmed and the production of the finale is nearly complete. Just before the premiere of Season 2, Stewart sat down with Collider to discuss his overall overall Star Trek journey. There were many questions regarding the Season 3 finale, and his answer was really weird, and it seems like Picard won't end on a very conclusive note, though Stewart himself is pleased with it. He said, Followers of Picard will find that we'll get to the very end of Season 3, and the resolution is unexpected and questionable. And I'm thrilled about that because it leaves a question mark hanging over his head. Now, I'm not saying in 3 years' time or 10 years' time there will be another series, and I'll be back again attending in my grapes in the vineyard. But I've had some fallings out with some of our people, because they look on this as a closure that is coming up, and I don't. Star Trek executive producer Akiva Goldsman also confirmed that the third season is going to be the final one, and he even revealed that the plan was always for three seasons of Star Trek Picard. In May 2020, Akiva Goldsman told Collider, We have discussed Picard as both a three-season show, a five-season show, a let's-just-keep-going-forever show, but Star Trek Picard, in my view, will go as long as Patrick Stewart wants to do it. He later confirmed that there are going to be only three seasons. The hope was to do three seasons if the Star Trek Picard Season 1 didn't flop. The plan remains three. The hope was always three. But if you pay attention to his words more carefully, it seems like he hints there's going to be something more than just three seasons, and we hope that there's going to be something more. After hearing both interviews, fans opened a huge online discussion, and they mostly hope that they expect things to be completely tied up or at least concluded in a way that allows for satisfaction. On the other hand, many fans think that the door will be left wide open for more stories down the line, meaning we still can expect some new stories. What is not really known is whether the new adventures are specifically related to Jean-Luc or to some other characters from the Picard Ensemble. This creature is not what she appears to be. She's an imp. Anyways, the fans won't be surprised if things aren't turned into a neat little bow. Do you have any ideas about it? If yes, let us know in the comments section down below. One of the biggest differences that are waiting for us in the third season is the fact that Star Trek The Next Generation will return. However, it is really difficult to say by now whether they will appear multiple times or it is going to be just mere single-scene cameos. 
Worf riding to the rescue, Jordy looking sad at Picard's funeral, Beverly Crusher visiting her son in a high-security Starfleet jail, etc. But as for many fans, they'll be happy to see their favorite characters even for a few seconds. But let's be real and agree that if it is going to be just a cameo, the line between iconic return and fans' disappointment will be 100% blurred. Once again, there is good news as in a 2018 interview, Michael Dorn claimed he wouldn't return to Star Trek for a mere cameo. His confirmed presence in Star Trek Picard Season 3 suggests Paramount has something significant up its sleeve for Picard's old pals. Of course, getting swept into the nostalgia that gives us the Star Trek The New Generation is easily done. But it seems like this is not what's gonna happen in Season 3, which makes it absolutely different. The Star Trek Picard's existing cast is absolutely amazing, and we have already seen in the second season that Santiago Cabrera's Rios, Alison Pill's Gerardi, and Michelle Hurd's Rafi all make the most of increased screen time to add extra dimensions to their respective characters. It goes without saying that we definitely should celebrate the arrival of Jean-Luc's Enterprise friends, but it would be really not fine if that came at the expense of Star Trek Picard's current cast. Everyone wants to see their franchise favorites again, but that shouldn't mean dumping Star Trek Picard's modern crew. That many fans and critics think is the third season is meant to pair both old and modern cast members with the complimentary legend from Star Trek The New Generation. Yeah, just a work in outer space. Allowing both to shine equally. If they do this, it is going to be absolutely amazing, and the box office might skyrocket like crazy. Another thing that we already know about Season 3 is that it faces a data problem. Many people agree that Data's role in Star Trek Picard's debut season was almost perfect, giving the android a farewell that far exceeded his demise in Star Trek Nemesis. If you have another opinion, we will be more than happy to hear it in the comment section down below. And let us also add that Brent Spinner has played various characters in Star Trek Picard, at least three for sure, and we should give him credit for that. His inclusion in Season 3 doesn't necessarily mean Data is booting back up. If the pasty synth did return, however, Star Trek Picard would risk undermining one of Season 1's best storylines, and all the emotion that came attached to that. Anyway, needless to say that the fact that Jean-Luc is surrounded by his old friends is the ending we are all gonna love, and it does sound like a perfect ending to many Star Trek fans all over the world. It is said that the third season will probably be the last one in the franchise, but we all know that nothing can last forever. With this much of an advanced warning, audiences can prepare their goodbyes. At the same time, there is always a chance the characters of Star Trek Picard can go on to other projects. Well, let's live and see. Have you watched Star Trek? Are you excited about the upcoming Season 3? We are dying to know your opinion, so share your thoughts with us in the comments section down below, and see you in the next episode.